Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content, boxing, and MMA news that is out. So, today's video, this is actually an update on John Jones, and it looks like that damn DWI situation went by really friggin' quick because he already got that damn thing over with. He has pled guilty to the DWI. They are dropping all the other charges, and he is only getting... Friggin' house arrest. I'm looking like, yo, this fool must have friggin' a great friggin' lawyer, man. But this is coming out in BJPen.com where it states, John Jones pleads guilty to DWI, receives house arrest, but no jail time. And in this article, it goes on to state, UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones has pled guilty to his recent arrest for DWI, and as part of the deal, he will not serve any jail time. TMZ reported the details of Jones' deal with the prosecutors in New Mexico. It's worth noting that the deal has been agreed to, but a judge needs to sign off on it still. The deal will see Jones plead guilty to the DWI charge, but as part of the deal, his charges for negligent use of a firearm and open alcohol containers in his vehicle will be dropped. As part of the deal, Jones will not be required to serve any jail time. Instead, he will be required to serve 96 hours in a community custody program. TMZ reports this is similar to house arrest where he will have to wear an ankle monitor. He will be given a one-year supervised probation instead as well. It also states in this article, Jones will also have to complete a minimum of 90 days in an inpatient outreach program, pay fines, and complete 48 hours of community service. Jones will also be required to install an ignition interlock device on his vehicle, meaning that he will be required to pass a breathalyzer before he can start his vehicle. Quote. And in this, it also states that Jones will also be allowed to use medical marijuana during his probation. <laughs> Yo, dog, this fool... Literally got freaking lucky, man. And I think one of the main things he did get lucky are the gun freaking laws in New Mexico are actually very lenient. They're pretty much like the gun laws here in Arizona, dude. You can freaking have a strap, no problem. You don't even need a permit, none of that. As long as you freaking, if you got a strap, boom, you good. It's like the freaking Wild West out here, man. But with that being stated, with him having open alcohol containers with the freaking gun and all, it's like, yo, I definitely thought he would have been paying the friggin' price for this. So with him getting off with just this, dude, he actually got friggin' very, very lucky with just house arrest because that's pretty much what we're all on anyway is friggin' house arrest because everybody's on quarantine. Most of the states are on friggin' very restrictive lockdown. So with that being stated, dude, he got super friggin' lucky. And I would say hopefully John Jones can learn from this. But, dude, John Jones, he's been in so many friggin' damn things, dude. It's like, yo, hopefully John Jones learned from this. Yo, I don't know. Only God knows if this fool is going to learn from this. Just for the simple fact is, dude, in another six months to a year, is John Jones going to get hit up for some other dumbass-ish? Dude, only John Jones and gods know what the hell is in his plan, dude. So with that being stated, dude, he got off on house arrest. He got freaking lucky as hell. The UFC can still penalize him or punish him with their own strict punishments. But with him being one of the main cash cows of the UFC, will they actually punish him? Maybe they might give him like some little little punishment. I'm guessing like maybe six months friggin' uh suspension or something like that but with the way that this stuff with the coronavirus is going something like that wouldn't even affect john jones because he probably wasn't going to be fighting until later this year anyway and with all of these damn fight dates getting pushed back dude his fight probably would get pushed back to next year anyway so even if they do give him any kind of suspension it will be retroactive starting right now so if they give him a freaking six month suspension it really ain't gonna matter because he's still gonna be fighting on whatever particular date he will be fighting on man so like i said hopefully he learns dude from the freaking history of john jones i kind of don't think he will but hopefully he does all right you guys so with that being stated i hope you guys like the video if you guys like the video make sure to hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you guys have any kind of questions any kind of comments hit me up in the comment section and i'll be sure to hit you guys up all right so i hope you like the video holla at your boy